joining YouTube. Madam Roy back again. You guys put you down here for a minute. Um, this is another vlog video. This is the day that we are preparing to go out of town. We're going to be heading down to the Outer Banks uh, tomorrow, probably around noon. And I've been very busy today, so that's why I hadn't started the vlog until now. Uh, this is Thursday. This is like November 9th, let's say. I may be wrong. I'll check later. Um, I had a someone come over to purchase a GPS for me this morning. I'm just starting to work on a project that ha I've needed to do now for about a month. Um, it's something I've been putting off, mainly because I just haven't had the time. Um, but it's something I want to go ahead and show you guys real quick because we're going to be taking it with us. Most of you will probably remember the Coleman stove that I purchased um, at the Goodwill, oh gosh, probably half a year ago, probably six, seven months ago. Well, I'm finally getting to work on it. Um, I will show you real quick what I had to do. I didn't film it because I've done this before. If you guys want to look at how to maintain and set up a, a Coleman stove properly, you can go ahead and check that video out. Um, right now, I'm just kind of trying to get this one to work properly. You may see my hand moving. Right now, I'm pumping it up to keep it going. Um, it does have a little a bit of an issue with the um, seal on the gas cap. Now, most of you guys probably know these machines, these stoves, actually have to ha work under pressure. You pump it up to actually get it to keep cooking. So, probably what I'm going to wind up having to do is replace the seal on the uh, gas cap. But right now, for right now, I try to reconstitute it using some oil, and that might suffice for this trip. But let me turn over here, and I'll show you exactly All what right, I've so been doing. All right, so this is the Coleman stove I picked up at that Goodwill. You can see that I wound up paying ten dollars and twenty-five cents for it, but I think it was half off that day, so I wound up getting it for about five bucks. First thing I did is I actually took this off. This is the pump. It's very easy to take off. You just have to take these two clips off. You pull it out, and inside of here is a leather seal. Now that seal always degrades. Um, this this hadn't probably been used in years and that seal was very brittle so I went and soaked that in some vegetable oil put it back and that is now working fine I also did the same thing here with the seal on the gas tank but unfortunately that seal has shriveled over the years and I'm not sure it's gonna come back so what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna I put just a tiny bit of fuel in here probably filled it right up to there I'd say maybe a little less than a quarter I'm gonna go ahead and let that run out because the pressure itself might help reconstitute it because I have soaked this seal in oil but it wasn't for very long if that does not work I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and I'm gonna go ahead and soak that seal maybe for a good hour or so um, I'm just going to probably throw the whole thing in a vat of oil because the seal is so degraded to the point that I'm afraid to try to pull it out. So that's going to be the last ditch effort. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to try to order probably a new cap for this thing. But as you can see, it is working. I still have... We'll have one burner up and another one up and it's just about to go out so i'm gonna have to try to pump this up again and i will talk to you guys a little bit right, later tubers well i have switched to the new gopro hero 5 and right now i'm wearing the chest mount which i'll show you in just a moment you guys can probably see it here this is basically put it up here this is basically what it is allows me to uh work with this uh hands free and I was actually surprised, being a big guy, that this thing would actually fit me, uh, but it does. So let's go ahead and do a little test video. I'm going to go outside, and I will show you what I've been up to with the Coleman stove. I got, like I said before, I got it working, but I had some issues with the um, fuel caps. So what I did, hopefully you guys can see that, I'm soaking it in some vegetable oil and you can see if you look closely there's some uh, debris coming out there so that's actually a good sign that's going to help reconstitute the uh, leather seal in there and hopefully get it working right but let me give you guys see if i can give you guys a good angle here basically um i cleaned the stove up i got the top done here i actually sprayed that now let's see how good that actually cleans up eh, getting some stuff off there Let's give her another spray. I just want to mainly get the old grease off because, I mean, that's really disgusting. I'll work on getting the price tags off later. I have some goo gone that I think will, uh, should take care of that at least. Just get the preliminary gunk off. I hate it when they do that. They put these uh, price tags on there that are almost impossible to remove without goo gone or something. It's like when I'm on vacation, I always like to keep a thing of goo gone with me. I shouldn't be doing this. This is probably how I lost most of my fingernail. 
but eh, it's coming off. It doesn't need to be perfect. Like I said, this is uh, something that's not going to be kept pretty dirty anyway, because the first time you really cook with these, they get extremely dirty. So I am going to let that soak again for maybe another five or 10 minutes, and then we'll give it a try. Let's go ahead and readjust you here. There we go. Um, I'm going to just walk around real quick so you guys can get an idea of the steadiness of this. Now, the this chest mount is the official GoPro chesty model. I've never actually had an official GoPro accessory ever. I just buy the cheap ones usually online. But um, I, I need to get up to a certain price point, like I said before, so I get the financing on this. So that's why I decided just to go with the... Uh, regular GoPro brand. Like I said, hopefully this is going to be a lot steadier than the wrist mount, which I've used in the past, and the uh, head mount, because I kind of tend to move my head a lot. I didn't really realize that about myself until I tried to film using the GoPro that way. <sighs> Got the truck ready. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to show you. Wound up, had to take the bikes off the other day, and luckily they didn't get damaged too much because we had some rain coming our way. But, um, the other tailgate seems to be working fine. And then that's the fifth wheel. For those of you that don't know, the trailer we have is a fifth wheel. So basically it works like a uh, tractor trailer does. When we go to hook it up, we just drive the truck under the trailer and the fifth wheel actually attaches to that big bracket in the middle. So it should be kind of interesting. I'm very curious to see how well this trailer does. Just gonna walk around here for a minute. Wow, look at this. I still cannot believe that her roses are still in bloom. It's incredible. Here in November, middle of, getting to the middle of November, and we still have some of these beautiful, beautiful roses. Look at the coloring on those. And it's odd because it is it has been cold. I mean, it is not like it has been, you know, 60, 70, 80 degrees. Past few days, it's been down into the 40s, and we got a frost the other day. So that's really incredible. Well, I'm gonna head back and uh, we'll see what I can do with the uh, Coleman stove. Talk to you in a few minutes. All right, well, the seal looks about the same, but it does maybe look a little bit more reconstituted. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back on here and uh, we'll give this a try. Hopefully, like I said, it'll now uh, hold pressure properly, but we shall see in just a moment. A little more fuel in here while we're at it and try not to make a mess. <laughs> That's okay, this is just Coleman white gas. This will evaporate fairly quickly. Let's see how much we got in there right now. That's good. I don't wanna overfill it because I don't wanna, sh I don't wanna have a lot of gas in there while we're riding. You know, we're still driving about two hours, so. Oh, that should be good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully try to put this back on. When you're putting these on, make sure that you thread it properly. If you do not, then you're not going to get a good seal. I'm just going to go ahead and tip the rest of the fuel off that was there. Kind of work it in a little bit because the oil has penetrated that area. So kind of just go back and forth, back and forth, and then tighten it up a good amount. And then actually going to take the regular screwdriver not a phillips just a flathead and tighten this until i can't do it until you hear it click so that way you know that it's a secure fit so let's go ahead and put this back in got to make sure this handles up okay there we go put the handle down to help hold it in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pump this up and we will see if it indeed works. So, I think I got this problem licked. I'm gonna go ahead and light this stove again and give you guys a better angle there, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. See if it explodes. <laughs> okay, got first burner lit. Now let's do number two. To do that, I have to turn this little valve here, which I think, yep, she's open. Okay. I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, but this thing is lit, putting off a decent amount of heat. I'm gonna go ahead and pump it up again a little bit. 
I put some more fuel in it. I filled up about halfway just to give this thing a good test. I have plenty of Coleman fuel, so I'm not really worried about running out. Yeah, she's doing really, really well. Awesome. So I'm going to let this thing run and uh, get ready for this trip, and I'll talk to you guys Tuber, a little bit so later. I switched back to my cell phone. Um, I actually wanted to test out this heater. I don't know if you guys remember, I got this at that estate sale last year. It's the Coleman Portable Heater. It was brand new. I'm telling you, this thing is the easiest device I've ever had to use. All you do is fill up the fuel there. Then what you do is you literally turn it upside down for about uh, 30 seconds. And that lets the fuel seep into the little cone up there. Then you bring it over here, you light it. For about five, 10 minutes, it gives off a big flame like this. And once it gets up to heat, the flame goes away and you just shut that little guard and you have a heater going. It's one of the easiest, easiest uh, heaters I've ever seen. And um, so that one looks like it's working well. We're gonna see in a few minutes if the flames do indeed go down. Next, I wanted to show you this. Um, I did have to do something different with the Coleman stove. Everything was working okay except this particular um, cap here. The seal in the old cap was just totally gone. I could not fix it. So what I wound up doing, I had an old Coleman stove that didn't really work that I was saving for spare parts. And I just pulled the cap off the fuel tank on that one. So this is working absolutely fine right now. And uh, I'll demonstrate it for you real quick. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of a big flame. Usually when you light this, you have to have it up, but it shouldn't be because I literally just had this on about a minute or two ago. But, I mean, it is working just fine. Go ahead and flick it up for a minute until it gets up to temperature. But, yeah, so that's great. I have two working devices here. We're going to use this to cook outside, and hopefully this will keep us nice and warm uh, when we do so. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.